Hello folks, uh, this is a UV82 teardown so that you can make a bigger hole for your microphone so you get more sound in as the little hole was restricting. So what you do is you take off, you just yank off the um, volume control, get yourself either a screwdriver to kind of de-spin, oops, to de-spin the, uh, the thing and take off that uh, Take off that little come on. Take off that little bit off the volume control. Um, possibly get yourself a little pliers or de-spin it in another way and just spin off spin off this um, thing here, which you can see when I get it in the shot. So just de-spin the um, the antenna bit off there. Now uh, you can slide off the battery, take it off, and just get yourself a screwdriver in this position here, and pop it. Okay, it pops up like that, and then you slide it out and spin it round. Gives you a chance to clean the LCD screen if you need to. But basically, get yourself a drill. Now some people recommend doing this with the uh, case still together, but I think there's a good chance you're going to hit the uh, the microphone and destroy the mic, which is there. That's the microphone, that little thing with the black thing on it. So this enables you to get a uh, a drill and go and do the the horrible. Hello, <laughs> and you can get right through. There's a little piece of foam on the back. You can see here. I would enlarge that foam as well, so it doesn't restrict. Uh, doesn't restrict what you're trying to do and um, yeah let's a little bit more audio in don't take the foam out because you'll probably get um, you'll get some extraneous noise and it will just leak it so it channels the uh, the sound fairly well so yeah make sure then that the keypad is fully pressed down before you you slide it back together and you just slide back together like that and give a good clip down and then you can reassemble. Uh, now, my thinking on this microphone problem is twofold. You can do the really complicated soldering, uh, but also, if you wanted to, you could uh, put a. <laughs> and this is like, you know, this is the low tech uh, solution. But I'm thinking of just sort of like bearing off this and sticking some Velcro on the left and right. So stick some Velcro there and there. And you can just put a, put a horn on it, you know. So you just speak a little bit quieter then, instead of having to shout really close, like at this distance, which is what you have to do at the moment. Shouting having to be very close to get it to to work, because it's meant to be sort of a noisy environment, so you shout into it. So it's not very sensitive, It's been the sensitivity's been turned down. But I mean, a low, low tech way of doing it, I know this is kind of funny, and you don't have to use something that's quite as big. But if you're at home and you're using this uh, on a table, you could do this and uh, you know save yourself um, a lot of aggro because it would actually uh, funnel the sound down uh, but I think you might need to either cut it off there or cut and cut and bend these back to the side so that it's presenting the audio at that point which I think uh, you know you don't want to present the audio at that point I think at that point I mean if you were to put your lips up against this and speak uh, you would get the audio coming down there but um, I think most of the audio is going to get collected about here. But anyway, let me know if you experience any weirdness with this. And uh, I've already forgotten to do something, which is to put the little mic, uh, the mic stuff in. So I'm going to crack this back open. And you've got to stick this mic thing back on when you're about to put it back together. It only goes one way around. And then you've got to slide the whole thing back together and give it a crack. And that's it. So thanks for watching.